It's Friday, October 16th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Dog Tags, and our scripture is Genesis chapter 32. This left Jacob all alone in the camp, and a man came and wrestled with him until the dawn began to break. When the man saw that he would not win the match, he touched Jacob's hip and wrenched it out of its socket. Then the man said, Let me go, for the dawn is breaking. But Jacob said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. What is your name? the man asked. He replied, Jacob. Your name will no longer be Jacob, the man said. From now on, you will be called Israel, because you have fought with God and with men and have won. Please tell me your name, Jacob said. Why do you want to know my name, the man replied. Then he blessed Jacob there. Jacob named the place Peniel, which means face of God. For he said, I've seen God face to face, yet my life has been spared. The sun was rising as Jacob left Peniel, and he was limping because of the injury to his hip. Names are important. In biblical times, people were named with purpose. Jacob is roughly translated as heel grabber or supplanter. It was a fitting name for the second born of twins who was holding on to his brother Esau's foot as they emerged into this world. It became an apt description of Jacob's character as he later stole the birthright and blessing belonging to his brother. Later in life, Jacob had to come face to face with his name. He had to face his character and own it if he was ever going to be right with God. When he had that face-to-face mirror meeting, he was asked to identify himself. He was wrestling with God's angel over whether he could go on being a deceiver or if he would decide to live in truth. He chose the latter, and God changed his name to Israel, the loved one of God. The truth about that wrestling match is that We're all on that schedule. The meeting comes to all of us. Call it a moment of deciding, a crisis or opportunity for growth. There comes a time in each person's life when living a lie is brought into question. We're presented with what Robert Frost called two roads diverging in a forest. One, a much easier path of self-will. The other, a less traveled path, more difficult, but best. Jacob, for the first time in his life, took the less convenient path of truth. And God, our sovereign creator, presents that same choice to each of us. Sadly, there are times when we fail that test. It was so the first time I was asked to declare my name. It was when I was inducted into the army in 1966. Recruits are required to do many things. Among the tasks is choosing dog tag declarations. My dog tags in the Army include my service number, name, and a few other bits of information, including religious affiliation. Now, this bit of information would identify how a chaplain would relate to me if wounded or worse, killed. As a 19-year-old, vastly wise and incredibly arrogant, I had concluded that religion was non-profitable, and I chose to answer accordingly. A few weeks later, the little metal tag strung on a chain to hang on my neck for the next two years arrived, and there it was, Jacob's declaration of which faith tribe to which I belonged, two abbreviated words stamped clearly at the bottom, no pref no preference. No preference? Sitting on the fence? Choosing against choosing? Truth be told, I hadn't lived as long nor made as many mistakes and sinned big enough to equal Jacob's life at that point, but I was on my way, and I didn't want anything like declaring faith to get in the way, and so I decided against deciding. And those metal dog tags might just as well have been carved in stone. Of course, my own meeting with the wrestling angel came some years later, and I thank God often for his grace and protection to let me live until then. 
But in the meantime, I had to live with my choice. And what I chose was to ignore my choice. This is the state of many people, ignoring what their lives are choosing, ignoring that they're ignoring Creator God who gave us Jesus, He who would not ignore the cost of our sins, bearing the cross for us. It's important to not forget the cost of that wrestling match between Jacob and God's angel. Jacob walked away having chosen truth over the easy way, and God gave him a new name to celebrate the transformation of a deceptive liar into truth-bearer. But he also walked away with a limp, a remembrance of what it cost to cross that river. For you today, to not decide is to decide against Christ and truth. So, in the voice of that guy who wants you to get his credit card in your wallet, what's on your dog tags? You chew on that as you hit the rocky road today. Have a blessed day.